And it's not over yet. It's not over yet. And now we know we can expect the unexpected. Well, the final skaters are on the ice right now. Tatiana Volosoja and Maxi Trankov. And it wasn't that long ago, Curtin Tracy, that Russia was the master of Paris figure skating. And this team are hoping to put the country back on top right now. They have been the dominant team this season. They're undefeated. And they want to win, win Russia's first world title in eight years. And, and it's laying there right open, waiting for them. How much do they know that has happened before them? I'm not sure, but the trick now is to settle in and do your job. Skating to Violin Muse by a Kuko Kawai. Beautiful control and back choreography. The way Tatiana comes around and settles in silently on her toe fix. And as the Germans opened with their best trick, the throw, Volosojar Trankov, it's the twist. Watch the height.
potential. And there is the result. World title. How many times have we watched them go out and have one mistake after another? Last year at the World Championships, they were eighth after the short program. Having a mistake in the short, this uh, competition, the best two performances I've seen them do. And I think we've talked about this, Kurt. We still think they haven't reached their potential. As good as that was. As good as that was, I, I still believe that there is more. They'll, they would pepper the mistakes with moments of sheer brilliance. But congratulations. It's been a weird journey to the top of the title. And you want to bet we're going to see a world record with the scores here, Kurt. That was sensational. You know, this is a team that is so well matched. So when you just talk about the overall quality of their skating, beautiful body positions and lines, uh, Tatiana is exquisite. Here's a look at their twist. They get perfect scores for this element because she goes so high and he catches her above her head and rests her down lightly. Here is what skaters notice when they watch this program. The landings were timed perfectly and there was control on the throws and the individual jumps and not nary a wobble. Until spread eagle into a beautiful triple sow cow. She lands perfectly. So That's did he. Just on That's his pick, eh? <laughs> Other than that, oh. spectacular and wonderful for their coaches, too, who have been waiting to see this on competition ice in the big event. The best score ever recorded in a free skate was by Sevchenko Zolkovi at the 2011 Worlds. It's a score, a free program score of 145. One would think that the yeah. Russians here would be close to that mark. I, I would agree with you, Brenda, no question. The quality of what they did, and, and so every element uh, is getting a level for technical difficulty and a mark for the judges from quality, and they are gonna hit it out of the park because each throw, each jump, the spins All were bang goals. on. All as hard as you can make that program and then execute it to the top of their ability. Here goes. The free program score. And that, Tracy, is a world record score, nearly 150 points for Tatiana Belosojar and Maxine Trankov. So Aljona Sevchenko, Robin Zulkovi will finish in second place at the Canadians. Megan DeHamble and Eric Rodford take that coveted bronze medal. Kirsten Moore Towers, Dylan Moskovich will finish in fourth place. Now, let's find Scott Russell. Scott? Ladies and gentlemen, 